neighborhoods and cities partaking in the Halloween activities tonight. Uh, while candy is really top of mind for most kids, we want to make sure that safety is also something to prioritize. Our Brooklyn Andres is joining us live this morning with some last minute tips and tricks before you head out the door this evening. Hi, Brooklyn. Hey, good morning, Phoebe. Yes, whether you are a kid or a family trick or treating on the sidewalks this evening, or maybe you're just someone driving home from work, we want to make sure that you're staying safe, keeping others safe. And that's why we are in Stoughton this morning talking with Stoughton PD. This is Officer Chris Stachel, and he's going to talk to us a little bit about some best practices that you need to keep in mind before getting all that candy. Well, first off, stay with your group. Um, we got a lot of kids out here. There's a lot of great costumes. There's a lot of the similar costumes, too. So make sure you know which kid that you're bringing with, you know, get a head count. You don't want to collect an extra Batman or leave a Batman behind. That'd be a very bad day. Um, make sure that they are be able to be seen, whether that's with lights or with reflective type costumes. And make sure that they're aware not to dart out between traffic, cross only the crosswalks, and look both ways as we're crossing the streets. Yeah, absolutely. And if they have maybe some costumes that could impair their vision, you said maybe take those off. But for those drivers that are approaching those crosswalks or even just driving through neighborhoods, what's some good reminders for them? Uh, first off, slow down. Uh, we got a lot of great costumes out there to look at. If you're going to stop and look at the costumes, please stop and look at the costumes. Don't divide your attention between trying to look at the costumes and drive at the same time. Uh, when you are driving, slow down. Expect the kids to dart out between cars. We hope that they don't, but just make sure that you're aware that that is always a possibility. Yeah, and as kids are collecting all this delicious candy, maybe it's good to check it out though too with family members before they dive in. Absolutely. If anything looks off or suspicious, like it's been tampered with or opened, make sure that you just throw that away. It's not worth taking the chance of getting sick over a simple Reese's peanut butter cup. Of course, and the most important question: What is your favorite Halloween candy? Got to go with the Reese's peanut butter cup. <laughs> that's that's the tried and true. All right, I would agree, Officer. Thank you so much. Phoebe, I'll send it back to you for now in the studio live in Stoughton, Brooklyn Andres, WMTV 15 News. Brooklyn, I'm with them. Those Reese's, they'll get you. That's a good one. All righty, thank you for that live report, Brooklyn.